This tutorial will take you through how to import data from spreadsheets and databases as well as how to work with information collected with GPS or total stations. Where you have information in the form of a spreadsheet or database you can import it into QGIS in a comma separated variable or CSV file. This is a simple file format where different fields are separated usually by a comma. Your data may have geographic properties such as grid references which can be plotted directly as point features. Here I have a small spreadsheet in OpenOffice. Uh, you might be using Excel but the process will be identical. This has a, a column for a grid reference and other columns containing information about what's at that location. This needs a little bit of editing to make it GIS friendly. The two parts of the grid references need to be placed into separate columns and converted into a 12 figure holy number format. You can see that this would have been unnecessary if the spreadsheet had been better formatted with separate fields for the Eastings and Northings. Often though you might be dealing with information that's been compiled some time ago when formatting for GIS wasn't needed. Once these columns are set, save the file and then save it in a CSV format. In QGIS go to Layer, Add Delimited Text Layer, select the file you want to add and then select the fields which fields have the X and Y coordinates i.e. the grid references and click OK set the coordinate reference system as we've done previously and there you are you see the points are now on the map if you now save that layer as a shapefile that will let you edit it in QGIS now this works fine if you're dealing with point data but what if you want to add information to an area that's defined by a polygon you do this by joining a table to an existing vector file a good example is to add information from tithe maps such as the name of fields and details of their ownership and add that to a, a vector layer of field boundaries created from an Ordnance Survey map. The Ordnance Survey mapping will be recorded to a different level of precision than the original tithe map and this will improve what you can do with your mapped information later. To join the two files you don't need grid references on your database just a unique number identifying the individual field as we have here. These numbers should also be added to your vector file so that both sources have common values. So save your database as a CSV file and then open it in QGIS using layers, add delimited text layer, choose the file and then down here check the button here that says no geometry attribute table only and click OK and you see that it's been added to the list of layers in the left hand side here. Now this is my map of the fields and if I open up the attribute table you'll see that the only attributes attached to this uh, vector layer are a set of numbers which are the, the numbers of the fields on the tithe map. So now I want to open the properties of that map and then go down to the tab here that says joins and click a plus to add it then I need to put the name of the the layer that I want to join to which is my CSV file click there and then you need to specify which fields to join now both of my documents have a field called ID so that's the one that I'm going to use and you don't have to have them the same name but it, it does make things a little bit simpler so click OK there and apply and then if I look at the attribute table again for that layer you can see it now it's inherited the information from the other table from the CSV file this is just a temporary link and if you want to make it a permanent link what you need to do is save the vector file with a different name and it will retain all that information These days people have GPS on their phones, their tablets and have handheld GPS 
for outdoor activities like walking or cycling. They're probably the easiest way for community projects to collect geographic information, although you should always remember that it has some inherent limitation with its precision. The native coordinate reference system used by GPS is WSG84. Waypoints that you record can be saved in this format, but some receivers allow you to use the Ordnance Survey Grid References as the default setting. There's many different ways to get the points from your device to your computer, depending on both the software and hardware. QGIS can import files in a GPX format. There's lots of utilities to change manufacturers' proprietary GPS files to GPX. If your data is in the OSGB 1936 coordinate reference system, GPS utilities can either convert this to GPX or allow you to save the file in a text format. You can then treat it like any data in a spreadsheet, make it GIS friendly and then save it as a CSV file for import into QGIS as previously demonstrated. To import GPX files, you'll want to transform the CRS from WSG84 to OSGB1936 and make sure that you check under settings and options that you have the automatically enable on the fly reprojection option checked. Open up GPS tools which are under vector. The first tab load GPX file lets you select a file and choose which type of feature to import. You can import more than one and they will appear as different layers. Right click on the layer and select save as. Save it as an Esri shape file. I uh, will give it a name and change the CRS to EPSG 27700. You can now open the new file and it will have the correct coordinate reference system. Total stations export survey data in different formats and you will usually have to transform it to a usable format. Typically you'll end up with a DXF or CSV file. DXF, Drawing Exchange Format, is a standardised file type used in CAD drawing software. CAD's a precision drawing environment and is often the best place for you to draw up your survey before importing it into GIS. But if you've just recorded point data, you could import it directly without the CAD stage in either a DXF or CSV format. With CSV files, you may have to tidy up the data in a spreadsheet to remove surplus rows. Providing that your survey is tied into the Ordnance Survey Grid, you can then import the data using the Add Delimited Text layer as you've seen previously. To import a DXF file, use Layer, Add Vector File and select the DXF file. Set the CRS when prompted, select the Line String Geometry and click OK. The drawing will be added to the Layers list as Entity and once open, save it as a shape file and replace the layer entity with it.